We have local elections coming up here soon. In fact, by the time I put out this video, they may well have passed. Uh, this year, for the first time ever, I decided to do a postal vote because at the time when I applied, I thought I was going to be getting or was hoping to get that medical study. And that would have been um, right when the election was happening, so I wouldn't have been able to go in and vote. As it turned out, I'm not doing that, but I went ahead with the vote by post anyway because the paperwork had arrived. And as it turns out, I'm now going to or have been away in Keswick, fingers crossed, that the weather holds. Um, so I wouldn't be here anyway. But I'm not sure what the point is. I watched a, a video by a chap who does his videos when he's he's driving around in his van. I forget the title of his vlog. I will add it when I find it. Um, and he was talking about the, the first past the post system and how elections work. And it just makes you think there's no point in voting. And I know lots of people don't. I have always voted. I think there's only ever been one election when I haven't voted. Um, so I'm kind of like wired for I need to vote. I shouldn't pass by this opportunity to just have my say. But then, does it make a difference? Probably not in the great scheme of things. But it's such a part of my makeup that you should vote. You know, my family, we've always been voters and I've always believed that, you know, you can't make change if you don't say your piece. But I don't know if anyone's listening anymore. And in fact, I don't think anyone's listening. Now, these are local elections, so it might have a little bit more of an effect on the ground. I think when it comes to the general elections, you know, pff, nobody cares what you actually think because the way governments are set up, it just, they're not listening to people like us, are they? But anyway, so I, I did that and I, I stuck my, my ballot in the, the post box and, you know, I assume it will arrive. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? It's, when, it's probably there by now or depending on when this comes out. Hopefully it will have made it into the ballot box at some point. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is probably yet another contentious issue that lots of people will be saying, well, all politicians are the same, there's no point in voting. And there will be other people who will say, well, you know, if you don't vote, you can't complain. If you haven't tried to have your say about things, then... You don't have a right to complain if you if you're not interested in doing and interested in doing anything about it. I don't know. I think we're all quite beaten down these days in terms of politics and what have you. It's just absolutely despairing. You know, we're run by a government who knows it's going to lose the next election. I think that's probably almost a foregone conclusion. And so they're basically doing whatever they like because it doesn't matter now. So it's an absolute disaster. And, of course, we have absolutely no prospect of success with whoever steps in behind them because they're basically all the same, aren't they? And that comes back to my point about, well, what's the point in voting? Because they're all the blooming same. Nothing's going to change. Uh, politicians are all there to feather their own nests. They all live in glass bubbles. Their decisions don't affect the people around them, except when it comes to the ballot box, and that's it. Anyway, so I did put my vote in. Local elections are a whole different thing, I think, in terms of, you know... Uh, but I, I, you know, I can't see a change making any difference to where I live anyway. I don't know about where you live. Anyway, so I thought I'd throw that in there as an extra thing, because that's something that I did with my week. I'll catch up soon. Bye you a quick update of things that are growing. My cherry tomatoes still growing. Sweet peas that I'm growing for myself are growing. Look at my second set of broad beans. My first set, some of them died, some of them didn't. They are very stunted but the flowers are gorgeous and they're outside. Um, I will, I think I've already included them on my last gardening video 
but um, I will keep an eye on those. I don't know if they're going to produce anything, but they're pretty. Anyway, so this is the second set. These look much happier, I have to say. Much more light now. Um, that's me trying to grow some cactus from seeds. Here's my next selection of peas. Um, I really don't understand the point of growing peas. You have to grow a lot to make a difference. However, I'm going to go with it. And once these are big enough, these can go outside in their pot. So that's my front room windowsill. So I'm just going to take you to the back and show you what's growing out there. So this is my bedroom windowsill. These are runner beans. So these look like they're going to do pretty well as well. Here is a new batch of purple sprouting broccoli. Uh, the two plants that I have outside are about three years old now, so I think I'm probably going to replace them this year with newbies. So there's a batch of them there. And then over here I am sprouting some regular tomatoes. Some of these are for mum and dad, so I'm going to take three plants down there. And whatever's left I will keep up here. So that means I have cherry tomatoes and regular tomatoes. Uh, these are called Ailsa. They're a new one that I'm doing this year. I usually do Red Alert, which are nice heavy croppers, but this is apparently a heavy cropper as well. These are the Pak Choi's on the right and the beetroots on the left, which I'm not very good at growing, so I'm growing these purely to be like uh, to go in stir fries and salads and stuff like that, which will be fine. I have other things in pots but nothing sprouted yet. Um, I've, I've got chamomile and basil and a few other bits and pieces. So another update as and when stuff grows. Time for another Sunday morning Morrison's Hall. I have a confession to make, I did a good thing. So I went in and I was looking at all the discount shelves and on the bakery shelf, absolutely loaded with bread that hadn't been sold and what have you. Quite a few birthday cakes and celebration cakes with fairly good discounts on them. And I didn't buy one. I restrained myself. There was a Maltesers cake there, it looked fantastic. Uh, and it was like a third of the price, it was like £1.80 or something. And I thought, I don't need it, I don't need this. So I managed to leave it alone. So I have a healthier haul today. So let's start with a good one. Milk. Uh, this is a six pint. It was 215 as they all are at the moment. So this one was down to one pound eight. This will all be divided up and put into the freezer. And then when it's taken out the freezer, I didn't uh, I put it in, in pint bottles and put it in the freezer. When it comes out the freezer, each pint bottle, when it's diluted, I water down um, with another pint, so theoretically making semi-skimmed, like weaker milk, but it means that I've got 12 pints for £1.8. And that is a really good bargain. What else have I got here? Uh, coleslaw, I went for a cheap tub. There were quite a few different tubs there, but this was the best value for the size, and I can eat this. I've had this before. This was £1.65 down to 82p. What else did I get? Uh, Savers chicken slices. These were £1.13 down to 68p. Um, that will probably last four or five meals for me. So, yeah, it's not the most amazing fake processed chicken but it stretches the budget and that's the important thing at the moment and the last things I've got are vegetables we did well on veg ish I have nothing in I've literally yesterday I finished all the veg that's in the fridge I've got about five sticks of asparagus left and a little bit of um, greens that I've had in a, a jug of water the asparagus which is really limp when I bought it uh, I put in water and sorted itself out, so that's done really well. These here are mushrooms, £1.19 down to 60p. That's a 400 gram punnet. I also got fine beans. There wasn't much on the veg counter, but there's enough to help me get going with stuff. These were £1.75 down to 53p. 
Um, they're ready trimmed ones, um, it's only because it's the only ones that were there. So I bought two of those because I don't often get the beans. And the last thing was onions. Now these are the organic onions, so they're like more expensive. They were 99p, down to 50p. There are six decent sized onions, uh, five decent sized onions in there, 50p. What's that? 10p an onion. It's not that bad. So that is my Sunday haul. There's enough veg there to help keep me going for a while. Um, I've got loads of potatoes in. I have lots of broccoli in the freezer. So I have some greens there and the asparagus there. So that'll keep me going. This, uh, this shop was £4.74. Uh, that was seven items. So as usual, I'll put the... the the shelf price and what I saved by buying discount on there uh, up there as usual so you can get an idea of what I'm saving and that I think is going to be my last shop for the month because today is the 28th of April uh, and that's it really um, yeah what a month interesting month so I'll update you with some more bits and pieces as I work my way through the week I didn't even leave the house yesterday. <laughs> I had errands to do, but they weren't like, I didn't have to do them yesterday. And I ended up not going out. I just did loads and loads of, well not loads, I did four YouTube videos, edited them, finalized them and uploaded them to YouTube. I'm trying to keep up with the one post a day. I did half of April posting every other day. And the second half posting every day and I'm going to have a look at the difference in really the income stream. I can see that the numbers have gone up in terms of people looking because if you're posting a video every day of course they will. But I want to see how much of a difference it makes with the revenue because it's really hard work trying to do a video every day and I don't think it's sustainable. A couple of channels that I follow have recently decided to stop posting on YouTube and close their channels or at least leave them dormant and YouTube is very much one of those places that serves a purpose and when it's no longer serving that purpose it starts to become a A real drain and it starts to become a problem and if you are recording because you feel you have to you feel like you need to keep up with uh, with posting for people to satisfy your your viewership that can become quite a burden and so yeah the, these small channels have stopped posting now and yeah, if, it, if, if it's no longer serving your purpose, then stop. It's serving a purpose for me at the moment, but um, I certainly wouldn't say that I will be here forever. I will know when it starts to become a problem. At the moment, it's easy for me to just post what I, what I do. The material is there. It's not amazingly exciting, but that's kind of the point. I'm not a polished channel, I am not, you know, loads of uh, editing and stuff like that, I'm a point and shoot, I'm an unscripted channel, that's the way I want it to be, it's the way I've always wanted it to be, they are the channels that I like to watch in the most part, not entirely, but in the most part, because it's the real world. So for now, it's serving its purpose I'm enjoying the creative outlet of it I'm enjoying getting aspects of my life out there so anyway today today I'm going to do my errands so I had another vintage sale overnight and I'm going to go and drop that off over at the post receptacle over the road and then I'm going to walk down to Sainsbury's I'm going to go and blow a few of those nectar points that I have accrued over the last good knows, goodness knows how many months because I haven't shopped much at Sainsbury's lately. I will need to buy a couple of birthday cards and I always buy my cards on Nectar Points because then I don't have to pay for them and 
I'm going to see what else they've got in and buy a couple of things that I'm running out of, like washing up liquid, stuff like that. So I'm going to go and buy that on points because it's not going to cost me any money. So I'm, I was going to record this while I was out, but it's quite windy out. So I know that people will complain about the wind noise and it is very irritating. So, I, so I've recorded it now, so I'm going to head off and do my errands and then I'll be back. weather out today is lovely. It feels like proper spring. It's a bit breezy but it's not cold. If the weather stays like this then my trip to Keswick later this week is going to be spot on and I've heard it's going to be about 17-18 degrees up there while I'm there so that'll be absolutely perfect especially for sleeping in the car at night because it just means everything's up a little bit. So I've done my trip to Sainsbury's um, I ended up spending £10.17, but I used Nectar Points, so I only actually paid 17p. Um, but I also made a profit, and I'll show you why. So I bought two cards. I always buy my cards in Sainsbury's, and I buy on Nectar Points, because I'm still at that stage where I feel guilty if I don't buy birthday cards and Christmas cards but I have uh, a niece turning four and my sister-in-law turning 40. So, I mean, one card was a pound, the other was one pound 50. They're not expensive cards, they're good quality and I'm getting them for free anyway, so that's all right. So, that's that. Um, I didn't buy anything on discount, it's too early in the morning for discounts. I bought washing up liquid because I needed washing up liquid, that's 62p. These are really good ones actually, they're not like the saver versions, if you buy the saver version from Morrison's, it's absolutely blooming useless. I also bought carrots, these were 45p, pretty cheap for a, a, one, point, a one kilogram bag of carrots, that will last well. I also bought vegetable oil, I'm down to the last half of my last bottle, um, I don't use a lot of oil, um, a bottle like this will probably last me three or four months. I try to use as little as possible because it's not as healthy for you, but some recipes call for it, etc, etc. Um, I bought these mini cheddars and the reason I bought them is because Shopmium are doing a discount. So these were £1.75, it was £1 back, so I've only theoretically paid 75p, but this is where the discount comes in because I paid £10.17 using Nectar Points, I literally paid 17p, but I'm getting a pound back. And because I physically paid 17p, that means I made, made 83 pence profit on this shop. I made money back. And that's one of the reasons that I did quite well on my on my food budget last year is because a lot of the time when I was using Nectar Points and claiming cash back I was going into profit on some of my shops and the last thing I bought which was very much a it's not real money I'm spending Nectar Points I don't care I'm just going to buy it extra mature cheddar I love cheese I haven't had cheese in ages I don't think and I it's three quid but I had to make up up to the seven, up to the ten pounds because nectar points you can cash nectar points in at a value of two pound fifty and it's two fifty five pounds seven fifty ten pounds so it was the carrots that I had to buy to make up the shortfall but um, yeah I just thought you know what I'm going to treat myself to some cheese so don't say I never treat myself this to me is a treat and. When I go up to, when I was think, planning my trip to Keswick, and I was having a look at this on the maps yesterday, I really want some fish and chips. I just so want fish and chips. And I had to look at some of the restaurants and the, the chippies up there, because they have quite a few in the town. But the price is ridiculous. £12.50 for sh fish and chips. That's half a monthly food budget for me. Like, this month I've just paid... 24 pounds. I can't justify spending that amount of money on something where 
the joy of it only lasts about 40 minutes. It's not like you bought something for £12.50 and you get to enjoy it for days or weeks afterwards. It's like a 40 minute meal, you eat it, it's gone, the memory of it has gone. This is the problem with almost like food addiction, is you eat something because it gives you that rush, but then it's gone and then you have to go back and get it again. So I won't be buying fish and chips, um, but I'm really looking forward to this trip. Tuesday evening and I've been over the road, done my clean, been to Morrison's, got a few things. There's a couple of things in here which I think I'm going to put into my picnic box for my trip rather than get things out the freezer. So you'll see another video where I'm talking about the stuff that I'm packing. So I talk about getting stuff out the freezer. So I'm going to do this instead. So what have we got? Well, there's this steak pie. These are ready to eat, so I think I'm going to take this with me. Was 99p, now 25p, so that's ready to eat. I might as well stick that in my, my box of goodies for my trip. Um, I managed to get muffins, bread muffins, and I think instead of taking the bagels out the freezer, I'm just going to take a four pack of these, because I can have those with my peanut butter. These were 99p each, down to 25p. I've got two of the whole meal, and there are some cheese ones, so I'm going to stick two in the freezer, and one I'm going to keep out. What else did I get? Uh, oh yeah, a mini six pack of pork pies, which I'm also going to take. These were 2 99 2 for six little pork pies, down to 75p. So I think that is going to deal with the rest of my snack food. Um, I've already packed everything else that is dry goods, like there's crisps and tea and coffee and stuff like that. Um, and I do have access to a supermarket, so there's that. Um, what else did I get that I'm not going to take with me? Uh, Alpro Plain Greek Style Yoghurt was £2.10 down to 53p. Do you like a bit of yoghurt? More of those large mushrooms. There's four in this pack. These were 125 down to 32p. I'm only going away one night, so these things will sit in the fridge fine until I get back. Cauliflowers. £1.9, 28p. There was a few there, so I bought two, because there were like four or five of them there, I think. Um, so I've taken two of those. Always good for lunchtime. And that's it. So let's have a look at the receipt. The receipts didn't print out very well. Uh, £3.16 for that lot. And as usual, prices will go up there so you can see what I would have spent had I paid full price and how much I saved by buying it on discount. Uh, so that is the end of Tuesday. And that is going to be the end of this, uh, this entry into YouTube. I've got loads of other stuff preloaded on YouTube because when I do go away, um, I'm not going to be uploading anything. And you shouldn't really tell people exactly when you're going to be away because if someone's got your address, then they could come in and break in or, or track you down to wherever you are. So I've got quite a lot of stuff uh, loaded up. And then when I'm back and I've had time to edit, you'll start to see the videos come through. Um, so that's it. That's the end of that Morrison's haul. And that's me pretty much ready for my trip, which is coming at some point. Have a good week.